Hi, this is just to show you the basics of a Sim 2 Dragonfly Pro 3D gimbal. I had a problem with this red and black wire shore off inside the housing over here. So it's a little bit difficult to get to, but I'm just going to show you how I access this area and a few other little things. So the first thing we do is you get a prying tool and you basically just need to get in here and pry this panel up and then once this panel pries up you can just pull it out here it has this little round bit that slots in over there so you don't have to undo any screws then is where this black and red wire shore off over here so now I've repaired that but it's not so easy to feed it through here to get to this area so to do that you need to take an allen key and remove the two hex screws here and then this will come out and then you will have better access and be able to feed wires through the hole here you can also remove these two little screws here uh, then this board just comes up it gives you more room to work with as you can see Wires are just stored in the casing. And we can see the wires coming from the motors here that adjust the camera angle onto the board here. And this feeding through to the mount for power and communication with the FC board. And to put this back on, just need to get it in here. There's these little clips on either side that we just need to get on the inside. Get it down into position correctly. And then just press and secure it back in place. And see over here, it just hasn't clicked in properly there. So we'll do it like that. And then just clip that in there. So you may initially think you have to remove a lot of screws in that, not necessary. Obviously, if you need to access this motor here, remove these two hex screws here. For this to come off here and if you have to replace or do something with the camera mount itself you just need to remove these two hex screws over here there is a, another screw underneath here but that did, did not have to be removed and because I had to connect this wire, I decided I'm going to lengthen it a bit. And I also put on a connector. So if this does pull loose, it shouldn't shore the wire again. And I've got an extra bit of length of wire to play with here. And this just stores in there. Now ideally, one should also be able to sort of put a cable tie or a zip tie or something on to hold these rubber dampers in position but that is a little bit difficult because it, you don't have space or much of a loop to go around but what I'm planning on doing is I will feed a cable tie in through here and around here and also on this side to help 
secure it so that it doesn't rip com loose completely if something does happen. So, and also just to show you now, um, if I would fed the cable ties or zip ties through here it would have interfered with this hole to put onto the quadcopter. But if you have a look on this side here, if you remove this bottom plate, there's only four small screws here. This comes off, and then you can feed a cable tie or a zip tie through these two pillars over here. Sometimes this has a little bit of a silicone thing on, which you can remove. It has no real point. And then just secure a cable tie, not too tightly, just you know, loosely, so that if the balls do pull away, it's not going to pull away completely. And I haven't put any cable or zip ties on this side because no real place to feed it through unless I want to try and modify here and put through here. But, you know, Two on this side is fine and adequate as far as I'm concerned. So I hope you find this helpful and possibly useful.